In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a mini coil pot using Model Magic. So, first of all, you want to open up your clay and just kind of squish it into like a pickle shape. Then you want to divide it in half. Now, a coil is um, it's a method of creating a clay vessel where you make a long skinny shape kind of like a worm and you build with that so I'm gonna take that divide it in half squeeze it again just like I did before and I'm gonna start rolling okay then I divide in half again and I want to roll again now when I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I move my hand around so that I don't have one area really thick and one area skinny. Then I can put two hands on and start to work my fingers out. Now because we're making mini coil pots, we want this to be pretty skinny. Skinnier, just a little bit skinnier than your pinky. Now once I have my long skinny coil, I'm going to start to twist it in and turn it kind of like to make it look like a cinnamon bun or a snail shell and this is going to be the base of my coil pot. Now with Model Magic Clay when you twist it and connect things they just attach automatically. If we were using a different type of clay that goes in the kiln um, which we'll be doing when we do like more advanced projects you would want to make sure that you do something called slipping and scoring. But for Model Magic, you can just stick it. So now I have my base to my pot. So I'm going to put my base aside for now. Now I'm going to start to build my walls. So I'm going to do the same thing that I just said before, where I make my coil. Okay. So I'm kind of working my hands out as I do this. And then I'm going to start at the base. Now instead of wrapping around the outside, I'm going to stack it on top. Okay, so I'm stacking it. Now I've done one layer. Now I'm going to stack it on top of the next row. So now it's three coils high. And I'm going to keep going round until I get to the end. Now I'm going to make another coil. So just like before, I'm going to roll it to make sure that it's nice and even. And I work my fingers out. If you ever have an area that's a little thicker, like here, you just roll over just that area. Now I'm going to add this. So you can see I'm doing my fourth row. And I would just keep going and going until I have the height that I like. So if I was happy here, I could stop here. Or I could keep going. Um, so you can see the difference in height. Then what I would do is get a, um, take your piece of scrap paper, make sure you write your name and your class code on it, and you're just going to place it on top of the scrap paper. Like this. And then you're going to put it away. 